properties. Hello, Lily. You're the first person in the house tonight. How does that make you feel? Like a woman. That's what you say. venture forth once again to Pixie Land where we have another health emergency. This time we are aided by a different doctor here. Hi everybody. Yeah, it's, it's Dr. Michelle. They shrunk me down. They had this machine, and it was like a glass tube, and I got it and everything, and it was like, I thought I was in uh, uh, Hunting Hunger Games, and it was like that tube, and it sucked me into another world, and I come out three inches tall. Three and a half, actually. I weigh five pounds. Yeah. So, I heard that we were having one of our guests come back that weren't feeling very well yesterday, and we had done surgery on this patient. Do you remember the patient's name? Because I don't. My name is Willow. And I'm new here. So Michelle's going to try to help me out. So the patients are coming in now. Hello. I'm Willow. Welcome to the Fairy Clinic. Or Pixie Clinic as we like to call it. You were in here yesterday. You had surgery because you drank human water. Okay, let me run the water test on you again. I don't hear anything. You have this again. Okay, now we need to contact some services. You just had surgery yesterday. How can you have this again? Look into my eyes. Have you been with humans? You're being poisoned. 
didn't you idiot? I thought kids at 18 knew a lot these days. He's poisoning you. I can test for it and I'll put it on the microscope. But you bet your bottom dollar. You're being poisoned, girl. Yep. Okay, let's see. I need you to quietly see if you have any senses left. Can you smell this crystal rose? Can you smell it? lost your sense of smell from hanging around with humans. Let me run another test. Okay. I'm gonna have to do a CAT scan on ya. Thank you, Ash. Let's do a CAT scan. Here we go. Go in the tube. Are you afraid? We see little drops of water. Just small drops of water. It looks like you've just been poisoned. Maybe in the last... Yep, you're full of water, just like I thought. You're going to have to have surgery again. Oh, what color is this? Huh? What color? No, it's not red. It's orange. You've lost your senses. you forget to take your medication? Maybe that's why you're having a little reaction. Huh? Just saying. You told me you would crush it yesterday. And I went like this. See, I can swallow. But you didn't do it. Two tubes. Two. So you better be in a giving mood, okay? Thank you for the likes. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Ouch. Don't be a baby. This is gonna make you feel real tired.
this out. I want to test that plot. Uh, oh, just a minute. Yeah. Same thing again. The same dang thing. Let me double check. are very much like roaches. We don't need a lot of water, just nectar. So here, we might as well get started, right? Okay. Oh gosh, I put them on upside down. Things are serious. We're gonna have to go into the operating room now. I could not at Kentucky Fried Chicken find a doctor that was willing to do her. You know what I mean by do her. Do the surgery. Okay, well, here's what the thing is. I'm the only person left. So it's either me or nobody. So I'm going to take her and I'm going to slide her body gently down into the pond of mushrooms. I will take you out of your cradle so that you can see it all. You'd like that, wouldn't ya? Yes. Yes. Here. Sleep now. And remember, she's very tiny. She says she's three and a half inches, but I bet she's barely moving two and a half. Okay, now, here we go. You're coming with me now. You're mine now. This is what we're going to do. We're going to drop her in the mushroom water.
Now, we're going to check this machine and see if we have a negative or a positive result from the test. One line is positive, positively pregnant. Two lines is negative. Oh, caramba. I see that thing shooting that stuff. And it looks like she has been with the human. How dare she lie to me? I'm charging her double. That's it. Ah, that's it. Charging her double. She's been lying to me all this time. Oh, okay. Well, now you've seen it. Not all patients are honest. Not all pixies are honest. Well, they are until they meet a human. And then you soil us. You dirty us. You make us into bad things that do naughty acts. We're just minding our own, trying to live in the acorns or the stumps or whatever you give us that has a little bit of a ceiling on it. Okay, here. Remember, you're always welcome at the Pixie Clinic where we do our best to heal you. Now, as our patient is coming out of the water, I thought I would do a little a little teeth check. Can we see the what the heck? What is this? Oh my god, do you see that? That pill fell out of her mouth. And look at her tongue. It fell out. Oh no. She's gonna die, I'm afraid. The question is, should I leave her in the healing bowl? Or should I get her out? Let's leave her in the healing bowl for a little bit. I'll get you out. I could blame this on you, you know. You left me leave her in the healing bowl too long. You know I'm just new at this. Okay, let's watch. Watch. She's alive. She's fine. She just doesn't have any teeth. Come here. Wake up. Wake up. Go back to your mermaid self. Wake up. Well, who wants to flush this one? Another pixie. Gone by humans. Have a magical day.